welcome back you're watching real estate popularly known as Kochi in Kerala's commercial capital Kochi remains one of the fastest developing real estate hubs in the country with high end waterfront properties commanding a premium prominent builders are capitalizing on the location dynamics prerna barua gets you a sneak peek of the top 5 premium waterfront projects take a look connectivity infrastructure wealth and tourist appeal the city of kochi has it all popularly known as cochin the city is one of the fastest developing and most sought after real estate destinations in india almost 60 to 80% of all residential properties booked in the city are registered by keralites living overseas real estate has always caught the eye of uh, the nri and there's a lot of growth potential there so they can see the money growing so we see a lot of money coming to the residential market of course one major factor being the uh, dollar going up and uh, their own currency so the nris are getting more buck for their money over the years prominent builders have forayed into this region with premium projects trying to capitalize on the location dynamics but according to data provided by prop equity new launches in the luxury segment have plummeted by nearly 42% in the last 2 years currently at 318 units in 2013 supply of new homes too witnessed a sharp fall of nearly 16% in 2012 and nearly 11% in 2013 the growth driver is primarily the it its sector which is actually seeing a lot of traction uh, that's in the kakanad area you have the smart city after a lot of uh, delay uh, the project is finally taken off so that's a good sign another important factor for cochin is that infrastructure improvement is happening on a fast pace today so you have the metro rail that is actually getting completion uh, getting the work is happening on a very very fast pace manner i think that's going to be a big positive for the sector the marine drive belt houses several premium waterfront projects ranging in the price band of 6000 rupees per square foot to 7500 rupees per square foot depending on the view the builder and its specifications while other areas of kakarnar and kalamassari have also experienced a higher demand for residential property propelling leading developers to set up premium projects in the city Some of the biggest luxury residential projects are on the waterfront. Addresses that are the most sought after locations among home buyers and high net worth individuals. Leading developers too like DLF and Tata Realty have flocked to this city of Kochi. With luxury penthouses with private marinas and luxury villas, home buyers are definitely spoiled for choice. We take you through the top 5 luxury residential waterfront projects in the city of Kochi. DLF's Riverside project is spread across 5 acres and floats on the backwaters of the Chillavanur River. Duplay houses and penthouses in DLF Riverside is priced in the range of 1.5 crore to 3.5 crore rupees. Another premium waterfront project is Tata Realty's Tridvam, located in the most coveted area of Marine Drive. Tata Tridvam is an internationally styled plush project. The state of the art duplay flats are priced in the range of 1.5 crore rupees to 2 crore rupees. Blue Waters by Meridian Homes are super luxury villas located in the NH47. The exquisitely designed and fully furnished boutique villas has an exclusive private marina and is priced at over 3 crore rupees. A sprawling terraced villa project called Cocoon by Aston Realtors is located on the river Periyar. The construction of 55 villas is spread across 4 acres and is arranged on the side of a hill, each unfolding beneath the other. Priced at over 2 crore rupees, this project has set the tone for nature lovers. Now let us take a look at how prices in several localities of Kochi have performed in the last one year. Sapna Dhanwani joins us with the heat map. Sapna, tell us what price trends are you picking up? 
Clearly, Saloni residential property prices in the backwaters have seen an impressive run up in the last one year. Talking about prominent locations, Marine Drive in Kochi is just like Mumbai's Marine Drive, which is one of the posh localities. Prices in this region have shot up by 15% in the last one year, currently ranging between 9,000 to 10,500 per square feet mark. Moving ahead, Kalamashari is one of the locations that has seen a jump of about 17% in the last one year. This clearly remains a hidden gem. The prices in this region are currently ranging between 3,300 to 4,000. 1200 per square foot mark. Moving ahead, Kakanar is a location that has seen a marginal jump of about 12.7% in the last one year. This place is about 30 minutes drive from the Kochi International Airport that will be operation in the next two to three years. Prices in this region are currently holding between 2200 to 4000 per square foot mark. Lastly, Idapalli is a location that has seen a slight jump of only about 7.5% in its property prices. The property prices in this region are currently ranging between 3800 to 4800 per square foot mark. So that's how the price trends for Kochi is currently looking like. Back to you. Alright then, that was Sapna with the heat map. So to talk more on this market, we have with us Karun Varma, Managing Director of DTZ, joining us uh, from uh, Bangalore. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, Karun, and sharing your views uh, with our viewers. Uh, to begin with, uh, Kochi as a market, what is your outlook and would you recommend it to home buyers? Yes, yeah, so... Uh Kochi is definitely a market which is short to uh, medium term uh, potential and the reason I say short to medium term is because on one side you have infrastructure development which is happening at a rapid pace and on the other side the state is uh, rich with uh, uh, talent. So as uh, information technology uh, ventures into Kochi and you see the peripherals of Kochi uh, absorbing uh, uh, talent into the IT ITS industry, I do believe that it will give a big local boost to the economy. Uh, supported by the infrastructure initiatives, like I mentioned, be it the metro, be it the investment in the Kakanad area, or uh, you know, doing the container terminal, etc. I do believe also that the prices are very attractive. So if you are looking at the secondary and the peripheral district of the city, uh, you know the prices are anywhere between three to six thousand rupees a square foot, and the product is uh, you know very good product. And if you are coming towards the city centre, the prices are really between five to ten thousand rupees a square feet, which is a very attractive buy from a real estate perspective. All right, uh, Karun, when we talk about Kochi, uh, we can't uh, help but mention uh, the scenic and abundant natural beauty in that location. We've seen a lot of developers launch luxury projects in that area. Uh, let's talk about uh, at least five locations which you would recommend to home buyers and some projects uh, which you think uh, fall in the category of a luxury and which would be a good buy as far as luxury market is concerned. Yes, so uh, see the interesting bit about uh, Kochi is, as you all know, that it's a coastal city. And uh, luxury projects uh, by nature would uh, typically have a sea view. So at today, when we talk about the uh, uh, central business district uh, of whether it is MG Road, Marine Drive, Panampalli, etc. Now, these are the areas, uh, like I was talking earlier, that you can get a product between five to 10,000 rupees a square foot. And these are, this is really the luxury location, in my mind, uh, for Kochi. There are, it'll be hard to pick a project because it varies from uh, personal uh, choice. But, uh, you know, you do have uh, regional developers and uh, local developers who are delivering great uh, product. I do believe that, uh, you know, at this point of time, uh, uh, there is uh, a reasonable supply in this segment. Uh, and this is very competitively priced when you compare to the kind of uh, product that is being delivered in that uh, micro market vis-a-vis -vis some of the other locations in uh, the southern part of the country. All right, as far as prices in the Kochi market is concerned, a lot of areas have seen a price appreciation of about 8 to 12 percent. Going forward, what sort of price upside are you seeing in the Kochi market? Currently, as we uh, uh, track the market, we find that on the luxury segment, you know, uh, the capital appreciation is really where uh, investors are investing, obviously fueled by the depreciation in the rupee as well. Uh, the leasing market is not as active in the luxury segment, but uh, given the product, given the location, uh, the amenities and the uh, specification of the products, I do believe that uh, uh, as the city grows, as there's more business activity, uh, the city would certainly expand. 
and expand in all uh, price points, not just luxury. It will expand uh, towards the other markets of Kakanad, uh, Kamlaseri, etc. in different price points. All right then, thank you Karan for sharing our expert views with us. It is time for a short break to get our expert opinion on your property matters. Feel free to call us or email us, details coming up on the screen. On the other side, we get you a slice of an exclusive conversation with international property consultant Knight Frank's global head, Lord Andrew Hay. Keep watching Real Estate.